They get really psyched up about this, and a bunch of people are going overboard. And everyone else is trying to stop them because they're going to pass out soon. Have you ever seen people pass out? No, not not yet. I've only I've only seen it once before. But like these guys over here, they look like they're going to fall over very soon. And usually they get stopped before any permanent damage happens. In a lot of countries, this is illegal. In Iran, the biggest Shia country in the world, it's illegal, but they do it anyway. Okay. Now, Matt, maybe fill people in on where we are. We're on my, this is my house. This is my house. This is my front yard right here. Um, it's amazing how the sort of thing is just right outside the front door. Take a look closely at those uh, those metal whips. It's like, it's like talons, like knives, just digging right into you. You can hold the whip in two different ways. You can hold it so that when it hits you, it's only the flat part, so it just needs a bruise. But if you hold it and you put the chains in between your fingers, they dig into you like knives and they whip across your back. Like all these guys have scars all over their backs from years and years of doing it. And I guess they start when they're children, like these guys over here. It's amazing they would let the kids do this. Like this guy cutting himself in the chest. Going nuts. Share whips with somebody. Hygiene problem.